Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. We have one slot left for the quarterfinals and the chance to win the $1,000 prize in our final qualifying match. It's the Rams of Bangor High School. <laughs> Taking on the Lumberjacks of Hebrid Academy. That's coming up next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Home renovations can increase the value of your home. Safety Insurance offers a variety of home insurance products to cover your home's increased value. You can ask an independent agent about Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm your host Todd Gutner. Seven teams have moved on to the quarterfinals. One of today's teams will take that final slot and perhaps go all the way to win the thousand dollar prize for their school's project graduation. Bangor is making their sixth appearance on the show. This veteran team has been to the championship three times including being the season two winner. But newcomer Hebron Academy is looking to make their mark in their first time on the show and go all the way to the winner's circle. Let's get things going by introducing the team members. For Bangor, we have Reardon, Lana, Joey, and Lizzie, with alternates Catherine and Parker, and they're coached by Carl Robbins and Susanna Owen. And for Hebron Academy, we have Quinn, Callie, Martha, and Caden, with alternates Kate and Mason, and they're coached by Joshua Kangas and Aaron McKee. The competition, of course, has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and the lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer it. All right, Bangor and Hebron, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's get going. Here's the first question. Which novel by Louisa May Alcott that tells the story of the four March sisters has been adapted for film and TV more than a dozen times, including a 2017 adaptation on PBS? <phone rings> Joey Bangor. Little Women. Yes, that's correct. Established in 1962, the elite fighting force known as the SEALs is part of which branch of the U.S. military? <phone rings> uh, Reardon, Bangor. The Navy. U.S. Navy is correct. Opening TikTok takes you to an FYP. In this context, what does FYP stand for? Caden, uh, Hebron. For you, Paige. That's correct. What word that originally referred to the Greek islands in the Aegean Sea is now used for any group of islands close to each other in a body of water? Reardon? Archipelago. That is also correct. Up next, we have a picture question, so take a look at the monitor over here. Notice the architectural wonder shown in this photo. Known for its intricate symmetry and use of white marble, name the structure. Lizzie, bang. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is right. Most of the land that makes up present day Oklahoma was acquired in what 1803 transaction between the U.S. and France? Lana, Bangor. The Louisiana Purchase. That is correct, too. Aotearoa is the name for New Zealand in the language of which indigenous people of New Zealand? Quinn, Hebrew? Uh, Maori. Maori is right. Good job. In June 2023, the PGA Tour announced that it would merge with what competing golf tour that is owned by the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund? LIV. Good job. You got it right. The Perseids and the Leonids are what type of events that occur in the night sky in August and November, respectively? Quinn? Uh, meteor showers. Meteor showers, yes. Okay, up next we have a video question. Once again, the monitor here. Hello, my name is Joshua Chard and I am the 2024 Maine Teacher of the Year. And today's video question category is astronomy. 
What is the name of the phenomenon where a celestial body is obscured by another, such as when the moon passes between the earth and the sun? Martha, Hebron. Eclipse. Uh, do we need more there? Are we good? Do we need a little more? Oh, solar eclipse. You got it. Solar eclipse. Nice job, Martha. All right. In the U.S. House of Representatives, Elon Omar represents the 5th Congressional District of which state that has the largest Somali immigrant population in the U.S.? Quinn? Uh, Maine? Uh, that's, oh, in no. that's incorrect. Bangor? Go ahead, Reardon. Uh, Texas? Texas, also incorrect. It's Minnesota. Minnesota. What name that means divine wind was given to the Japanese fighter pilots in World War II who were trained to crash their planes into enemy targets rather than be shot down? Reardon? Kamikaze. Yep, you nailed it. Scandium, yttrium, and the series of metallic elements with atomic numbers 57 through 71 are known collectively as what? Uh, Joey, Bangor. Alkalide metals? Uh, Transition metal. Incorrect. Uh, Quinn? Lanthanides. Also incorrect. The answer is rare earth elements. So we move on to the next one. Which of these is a stringed instrument? Mandolin, marimba, or mellophone? Martha, Hebron? Um, mandolin. <laughs> mandolin is right. Yes, you said confidently. We move on. This is the math question. You've got paper and you've got a pencil. What is the next number in this arithmetic sequence? 39, 52, 65, 78. Caden. What is 91? You nailed it. 91. <laughs> Sorry. We're going on. I feel like I'm on Jeopardy. <laughs> Mount Elbrus. It's okay. Mount Elbrus is the highest peak in which mountain range that extends from the Black Sea to the Caspian Sea? Uh, Reardon, Bangor. The Caucasus. That's correct. A type of music from the Caribbean island of Trinidad shares what name with a mythological nymph who was the daughter of Atlas? Uh, Reardon again. Nereid? Uh, incorrect. Hebron, you want to try? Echo. Go, uh, go ahead, Quinn. Oh, no, no, I said echo, but yeah, it's not. Uh, it's enough. Calypso. Calypso. Phoebe Bridgers, Ed Sheeran, Daniel Kaluuya are among the many celebrities who have met host Amelia de Maldenberg for a meal on what YouTube series? Uh, chicken Shop Date is the answer. What Russian born American author of Atlas Shrugged? supported a political philosophy that she called objectivism, saying that the facts are facts independent of our feelings, wishes, hopes, or fears. Reardon, Bangor. Rand. Yeah, you nailed that. Onward, in an 1857 decision, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that what enslaved man was not entitled to his freedom even though he had been living in parts of the United States where slavery was prohibited. Uh, Lana. John Brown. Incorrect. Hebron, you want to try? Answer is Dred Scott. All right, next question. A galvanometer is used to measure which of these things? Electric current, humidity, or wind speed? Quinn, Hebron? Um, electric current. That's right. The Anatolian Peninsula makes up most of the landmass of what modern day country? Reardon? Turkey. Turkey is also right. Which American painter, who died in 1986 at the age of 98, lived much of her life in New Mexico, where she painted the desert landscapes and large-scale representations of flowers and animal skulls for which she is known? Reardon? O'Keefe? Yes, that is correct, too. All right, here's the second math question. Again, you've got your pencil and paper. A ball is dropped from a height of 125 feet. Each time it hits the ground, it bounces three-fifths of the height it fell. How high will it bounce on the third bounce? Go ahead, Reardon. 27. 27 is the right answer. We move on now. The 1969 U.S. Supreme Court ruling in the case of Tinker versus Des Moines focused on freedom of speech and students' right to wear black armbands to school as a protest against what major world event? Quinn. Um, apartheid. One more time. No, apartheid. Uh, that's incorrect. Uh, Bangor, Lizzie. The Vietnam War. That is the correct answer. In his 1915 book, The Origin of Continents and Oceans, Alfred Wegener gave what name to the prehistoric supercontinent that encompassed all of the land masses on Earth until about 300 million years ago? 
Joey. Pangea. Pangea, yes. In Chinese mythology, the supreme ruler of heaven is an emperor associated with which green stone that, according to legend, was formed from crystallized moonlight? Reardon? Jade. Jade is right. And that's the end of our first round. We have Bangor at 140, Hebron at 80. We have got a great match underway here, so don't go anywhere. We'll meet the players when we get back. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Hey, how you doing today? The Maine Education Association does a fantastic job of giving us a voice. So what do you think? Good manners. To help teachers and students realize that people support them every day. The MEA helps me be better at my job. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players with a slightly silly question, which is, you have to choreograph a dance for your favorite artist to perform on a stage. Who would the artist be, and what would the dance be called? We'll start over here, Bangor and Reardon. <clears throat> I think it would be pretty funny to have the Beatles do, like, the robot as a group. <laughs> All four of them? All four of them at the same time. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, that would be kind of good. All right, Lana. Okay, so it's not my favorite artist, but I would have Beethoven floss because that would be very funny. The floss. Oh, all right. Okay, that's cool. We won't make you do the floss, Lana. Uh, Joey, your turn. Uh, I, no, also not my favorite artist, but I think I'd make Beyonce do the uh, Cotton Eye Joe. The Cotton Eye Joe? You don't know the Cotton Eye Joe? Can you show me? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lizzie, can you top that? Oh, he's still going. Joey is still going. Sorry. Um, I'm not going to do this dance for you, but I would make Taylor Swift do the worm. The worm? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, I, don't, I think she would do it, actually. Probably, Tay -tay, yeah. She's amazing. She would do it. All right, Hebron, Quinn, go for it. I don't know. David Bowie's pretty good. Um, and if it had to have a name, I guess the zigzag, I don't know. What would, what would it look like? I don't know, maybe square dancing, maybe <laughs> classical, I don't know, like a waltz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, Callie? Um, I'd have Taylor Swift do a dance choreographed and named the mayor. The mayor? Mayor. The mayor. What would it look like? I have no idea. No idea. Okay, we'll work on that. Uh, Martha, your turn. Um, I would also have Taylor Swift do a dance, and it would be called the Gyllenhaal. The G <laughs> Will there ever be a Kelsey? <laughs> Perhaps <hope> <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Uh, Kaden, you're last up. I'd have to do uh, DJ Khaled do the hula hoop. The hula hoop? Yeah, just, just kind of. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be awesome. All right, thank you, Bangor and Hebron, for that. The category round is next, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Paul Riley from Safety Insurance, and this is your viewer question of the week. The Bailey Island Bridge is the world's last known cribstone bridge in which granite blocks are stacked to allow the water to go through without affecting the tidal current. It connects Bailey's Island to what other piece of land? Is it South Harpswell, Boar's Island, Popham, or Cliff Island? Stay tuned for the answer later in the show. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Hot like summer, before they were president, fair play, Ghostbusters, let's take a road trip, and facial recognition. Questions have increasing point values and wrong answers will cost you. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each question, they can choose to answer it and either gain or lose points. They can skip it and neither gain nor lose points. Or once per category, they can toss it to the other team and force them to answer it. Players will have about five seconds to confer and decide what to do. Our trailing team is Hebron. Uh, Quinn, what's going to be your first category? Um, do you guys think Ghostbusters? What do you think? Sure. Yeah, sure, okay. why not? Ghostbusters. You want to go with Ghostbusters. Okay, these are questions about ghosts in literature. Here's the first question. In the Harry Potter books, the ghost of which former student haunts the second floor girls' restroom at Hogwarts? Moaning Myrtle. Uh, Moaning Myrtle. That is correct. Ghostbusters for 15. In a play by William Shakespeare, which title character is visited by the ghost of his father who asks him to revenge his foul and most unnatural murder? 
Hamlet. Hamlet, yes. Ghostbusters for 20. The ghost of Jacob Marley is the first of four spirits that visit the main character in A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Evan, Ebenezer Scrooge. That is correct. Ghostbusters for 25. Four people visit a mansion looking for evidence of ghosts and supernatural phenomena in what Shirley Jackson novel that was published in 1959? Uh, toss. You want to toss it over yes. to Bangor? All right, Bangor, I'm going to reread it for you. Four people visit a mansion looking for evidence of ghosts and supernatural phenomena in what Shirley Jackson novel that was published in 1959? Reardon, I'm going to need something here. I'm going to need an answer. Reardon? Uh, outsiders. Incorrect. I mean, you had to guess something, right? Yeah, don't be hard on them. That's, you had to guess something. It's the haunting of Hill House. Back over to Hebron for the last... 30-point question in Ghostbusters. The title of a 2017 George Saunders novel about Abraham Lincoln meeting the ghost of his son mentions what state between life and the afterlife where Tibetan Buddhists believe a person could attain enlightenment. Nirvana. Nirvana. Um, that's incorrect. The answer is the bardo. The bardo is the right answer. All right, that wraps up your first category. We're over to Bangor for your first. Reardon, what's it going to be? Hot like summer. Okay. Hot like summer. These are questions related to summery things. In a summer movie from 2023, Margot Robbie, Issa Rae, Dua Lipa, Nicola Coughlin, and Alexandra Shipp all play characters that have what name? Barbie. Barbie is right. Hot like summer for 15. Which Glass Animals song about late nights in the middle of June spent 91 weeks in the Billboard Hot 100 between 2021 and 2022? Heat Waves. Heat Waves, yes. Hot Like Summer 20. Paris is the host city for the 2024 Summer Olympic Games, but the competition for which sport will be held in the South Pacific off the coast of Tahiti? Reardon, I'm going to need something. Skip. 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 The answer is surfing. Surfing. Hot Like Summer 25. Which TV series starring Lola Tung as a teenage girl <laughs> named <laughs> Belly Conklin is based on a trilogy of books by Jenny Han? Okay. The Summer I Turned Pretty. Okay. The Summer I Turned Pretty. <laughs> you listened to her this time. Well done, Reardon. Hot Like Summer for 30. American artist Faith Ringgold uh, created a famous painted quilt and an illustrated book for kids with what two-word title that refers to families in New York City spending summer days on the roof of their apartment building? Uh, toss. You want to toss over to Hebron? Okay. Uh, Hebron, I'll read it again for you. Hot like summer 30. American artist Faith Ringgold created a famous painted quilt and an illustrated book for kids with what two-word title that refers to families in New York City spending summer days on the roof of their apartment building? Uh, what do you think? The Brent? roofers. I mean, it was worth a guess, right? It's Tar Beach. That's the answer. And that wraps up that category. Hebron, you get your second category now. What will it be? Um, facial recognition. Okay, facial recognition. These are questions related to the human face. Here's the first one. Certain biometric scanners use infrared technology to identify the unique patterns and colors of which visible part of the human eye? Retina. Uh, retina. Yeah. retina. That's incorrect. It's iris. Iris. Facial recognition, 15. The body's lacrimal, lacrimal system produces and secretes what substance that may appear on your face when you are experiencing profound emotion or physical pain? Uh, tears. tears. Tears is correct. Facial recognition, 20. The largest bone in the human face is the lower jaw bone, more properly known by what scientific name? Mandible. Mandible, yes, that is correct. Here's our next question, facial recognition for 25. Frontal, ethmoid, sphenoid, and maxillary are the four types of what air-filled nasal cavities located in your forehead, between your eyes, behind your nose, and below your eyes? Sinuses. Sinuses is right. Facial recognition 30. 
Although it's not a reliable, as reliable as fingerprinting, criminal investigators sometimes identify suspects with prints of the helix, anti-helix, tragus, and anti-tragus of which body part? Um, ear. Ear is correct. Nice job. Uh, back to Bangor for the final category for you guys. Uh, let's take a road trip. Okay, let's do that. Questions about U.S. roads and highways. Here we go. The section of the I-495 highway that encircles Washington, D.C. is known by what name? People often say that things connected to the U.S. federal government are located inside it. Reardon? Skip. Skip. It's the Capitol Beltway. Let's take a road trip for 15. Known as the Mother Road, what highway covers more than 2,400 miles and passes through eight states between Chicago, Illinois, and Santa Monica, California? Okay. The 666? Six, six, six. Route 666. Oh, uh, that's incorrect. The answer is Route 66. <laughs> you were so, so close. All right, gather it, gather it. Here we go, Se next question. Let's take a road trip for 20. The Great River Road in Iowa follows the course of which major river that forms the eastern border of Iowa? Mississippi. The Mississippi. That is correct. Let's take a road trip for 25. Shenandoah National Park in Virginia and Great Smoky Mountains National Park in North Carolina are connected by a historic parkway named for what section of the Appalachian Range? Skip. This is the Blue Ridge Mountains. Let's take a road trip for 30, the last one. Because of its proximity to Area 51, where investigations into UFOs take place, a 98-mile stretch of State Route 375 in Nevada is officially known as the what highway? Go ahead, Reardon. What are you going to do? You need uh, skip. It's the extraterrestrial highway. That wraps up our category round and that category, which was a rough one, right? Let's see, we've got a score of Bangor 170, Hebron 145. It's a tight one now. Everything can change in that lightning round, so sit tight. We'll be right back. How did you do with the question of the week? It was, the Bailey Island Bridge is the world's last known cribstone bridge in which granite blocks are stacked to allow the water to go through without affecting the tidal current. It connects Bailey's Island to what other piece of land? Is it South Harpswell, Orr's Island, Popham, or Cliff Island? The answer is Orr's Island. Completed in 1928, the 1,150 foot bridge underwent repairs in 2010 using granite from the same quarry that furnished the original stones. Okay, here we go. We're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in at any time, but do not answer until I call your name. You get 20 points for each correct answer. An incorrect answer will cost you 20, and the other team will not get a chance to answer that question. The clock is set. Good luck to both of you. Here we go. In cartoons, what is the name of the band whose members are singing rodents, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore? Uh, Callie. Alvin and the Chipmunks. The Chipmunks, yes. What city is the capital of Spain? Reardon. Madrid. Madrid, yes. The Latin word for heap gives us what name for clumpy, puffy clouds? Lana. Cumulus. Cumulus is right. Fenty Beauty is a cosmetic si- uh, Martha. Rihanna. Rihanna, yeah, nice job. In Greek mythology, what nine-headed serpent was killed by a uh, Quinn? Hydra. Yes, that's correct. A covalent bond is formed, uh, Reardon. Uh, valence. Uh, incorrect. Electrons. NE is the postal abbreviation for which? Uh, read it again. Neon. Incorrect. Nebraska. What phylum includes moss piglets, also known as? Tardigrada. Quinn. Yes, you got that. 
At the Olympics, Super G is an event in which sport? Lana. Skiing. Yes. Who is the narrator and protagonist of The Catcher in the Rye? Quinn Hebrew. Holden Caulfield. That's correct. When you're talking about UV radiation, what does UV stand for? Reardon. Ultraviolet. Yes. What Portuguese mariner led the first European expedition to reach India by sea? Vasco da Gama. That's correct. Launched in 1973, what was the name of the first manned U.S. space station? That's the end of the lightning round. Oh, this was a close one. Hebron came through with 245 points. They're our winner, and they'll be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. Bangor, you had a great game. Your final score was 230. I hope to see you again next year for another try at that championship. Thank you for playing, and congratulations to both teams. Be sure to tune in next time for the first quarterfinal match. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. People who can work from home seem to love it. Who else loves it? Cyber criminals. Cyber coverage from Safety Insurance covers data and system restoration, data recreation, and more. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.